Hey there, don't mind me. I just came in from a walk outside. It was so nice today. I couldn't resist. I'm sure you guys know about mask me, so I'm probably not gonna have to tell you too much, but I will say this. If you haven't already visited my group, I wanna let you know there is still an opportunity to join my VIP group. It's called Seeing Life Through K Rose Carol's Colored Glasses. I know, not really original, but that's what I call it. Anyways, really quickly, I wanted to cover some Mary Kay body care because we have a lot of it and you may not even know it. So let's start with our hands. Did you wash your hands today? I hope you did, because I know I did. Well, what I usually do, and I'm doing this off to the side because I don't want to make a mess. I don't have any water, so we're gonna pretend. But we have one of my favorites, it's our satin hand set. You've probably seen me talk about this before. It comes in fragrance free and the white tea and citrus. I know, I like the white tea and citrus, it's very light. But what I wanna share with you is that both of them come with an unscented emollient. This stuff is the best. And what you do is you put this on your hands first, then you pump, pump a little sugar scrub and mix the two in, rinse with warm water, pat dry, and then you add your moisturizer. Now, the nice thing is because your emollient lasts 24 hours, your hands are gonna stay moisturized. The reason you add the sugar scrub is so it penetrates deeper, therefore making it last longer. And then your hand lotion, which is shea infused, will last for over 14 to 15 hand washings and is also designed to probably last throughout the day, maybe even to the next day. And I just love it. It's great on the whole, hand, elbows, wrists, the whole body even. Now, if you love that, we have satin body. So that's basically, my chair keeps spinning, the big brother or big sister to satin hands. They came out with these recently. There's a body lotion, a body scrub, and a body wash. So, and you may or may not note, there is one, two, or three stripes on these. Basically, I think the idea is that you would probably be using the scrub and or wash in the shower. So it's a sugar scrub, just like the white teen citrus, but it's a bigger bottle. And then if you want a nice frothy rinse, you use the Shea Wash. There is nothing like this in the satin hand set. It's its own entity. We do have an unscented body wash and body lotion. Uh, I wasn't gonna cover that today. And then of course, there is the Shea Silkening Lotion, which is kind of like the big brother to the hand lotion. And this is all in the white tea scent. Um, I can put price points in the comments below. I think they're also in the album already. I wanted to keep this timely. So moving on, some other parts that don't get enough love. We have our Mint Bliss Foot Lotion. Now I'm not gonna stick my feet on camera, just trust me. This tingles a little because it's mint, but it's so good. If you've ever gone to the spa for a pedicure and they sit there and they, you know, scrub your feet down and then they massage them and then they put lotion on. When I go at home and do this where I soak my feet, I use this lotion on my feet. It is the best, especially after a long day. If I was on my feet walking around and I'm tired, it is very, very soothing and relieving. Um, if you liked the emollient in the satin hand set, and maybe remember an older version, or you want to use something that's safe for your face or other body parts, the extra emollient night gel cream, it's, it's kind of halfway between. The other stuff is kind of opaque, clear. This is kind of pinkish and it comes out like toothpaste. So just be aware it's a little thick, but it's meant to be. It's meant to be something you put on your hands, maybe slip on some gloves and sleep overnight. You can do the same thing with socks. I absolutely love it for those extra dry patches like the elbows, even though I do a pretty good job, you can still see I missed the spot. Great for the kneecaps, the backs of the heels, anywhere that's really rough. I have a friend who is a general contractor and he loves this stuff. I also have a brother who loves to work on his car and it, like as a mechanic, your hands get very heavy callousy. So he scrubs and then he needs something that'll really hydrate. And the emollient is excellent for that. This is safe enough. You can use it on your face. It's gentle enough, I should say. It's not that it's not safe. Um, I think, honestly, I had makeup on and on my mascara, if I rub my eyes, I get it everywhere. So I try not to touch my eyes, but sometimes you come in from outside, the wind's been blowing, there's probably pollen in the air, it's probably allergies. You know, that's all. And now this 
changed the packaging slightly. It's now lighter pink, but this is our targeted action toning lotion. I have definitely mentioned that in some of the posts, maybe not as many as I should. This is great for tightening and toning the girls here. The tummy, if you've had a baby and you have stretch marks and that tummy is just kind of jiggly, this stuff is great. Not a cure, but it helps. I use it on my thighs because I'm a big curvy girl with a pear shape. And I find personally that I like to have my thighs not look like um, they belong to an elephant. No offense to any elephants out there. I think it's just a matter of uh, I'm a human being and I want to look like one. One or two more things. This is in our sun care line. We do carry a sunscreen, but also we have SPF and several of our moisturizers, just FYI. But there's also the before and afters, like to call it. The before being the subtle tanning lotion works with your own melanin and it's applied. And within a 30 minutes, you'll start to see a color change. It's subtle. So you need to keep applying it every day for a few days in a row. And that's when you'll see a change in skin tone. If you need a version of that, take that toning lotion, mix it with some CC cream, two shades darker than you and put that on your skin. It'll be a one day temporary color change that washes off at the end of the day. So I don't know about you, uh, depending on if you're a rush, you might want to use the CC cream and toning lotion. But if you want something that's going to last, I use this on the bra strap area before my wedding as I had a strapless gown. And I did not want to have the white straight stripes there because let's face it, I don't get out and get a lot of sun. I don't take my top off and I always have some kind of strap because got to keep the girls in check. If I tried to wear something with a string, that would be a wardrobe malfunction waiting to happen. Also, along the same lines, we have after sun care. Now, this is the one I love to stick in the fridge or the beach cooler. It is a non-aloe. It is a blue gel. So warning, if you're taking this on a trip, you have to pack it in your check bag. It's like a blue gel. I'm trying to show you without making goo everywhere. It's, it's, it's hard to see, but trust me, it's a light blue gel. Because I had this in my carry-on and this bottle is more than the recommended ounces the TSA made me throw away my after sun gel. And I was going to Texas where it was 100 degrees and I knew I would burn. Not, not enough water. I mean, you could drink a lot of water, you're still gonna burn. So please, please, please pack this in your check bag or put some into one of those travel size vials and put it in a little Ziploc bag when you go through the TSA check. So you have one, like if you're keeping your bathing suit in your purse or your carry-on bag so you can hit the pool while you wait to check in at the hotel as I've been known to do. Lesson learned, because gel is kind of like a liquid and they don't like that because it x-rays like liquid. So now I only have a couple more minutes. I wanted to keep this really short and sweet. I want to show some of our fragrances. We have a lot. I'm not even going to bother covering the men's fragrances because, well, Father's Day is not for another couple months, but Easter is coming up and Mother's Day is coming up much sooner. And you may need a gift. But if you didn't know, I do gifting services. So now that I'm back, sorry about that. I know I should go off camera. But I was grabbing my notes. Not only is most of the body care available in the back end of the catalog, starting on page 28, it's kind of scattered about to the next page or two, page 30 as well. But then I'm going to jump to page 34, where it has all the fragrances here at the bottom. Now, again, I'm not going to post prices. I just want you to be aware that we have a lot of fragrances and they're very comparable to some major brands. Not like I can specifically list which ones, but as an example, if you went through Fruity Flory, you might enjoy Bella Bellara. If you're more of a creamy floral, you prefer Bellara. There is a Thinking of You, sorry, Thinking of Love floral perfume. There is a Thinking of You Fruity Floriental. I know these are weird terms, but these are terms that uh, the, uh, fragrance experts use. If you like something floral fruity, we have something called Enchanted Wish. Uh, also, we have Forever Diamonds. If you want something more ambery oriental, there's Cityscape. And floral oriental is Illuminia. And we have a brand new one as well called If You Believe. Now, you may go, that's great, but what the heck do they look like? And what do they really smell like? So I'm glad you asked. I don't have all of them on demo, but I have a lot of them. Here is Thinking of Love. They say the sniff of the cap. I just like the little heart charm. Isn't that cute? This one, as I said, you know, kind of has that fruity scent and it's nice. It comes in this cute little box and there's a note card that you can fill out. The uh, sister to that, thinking of you, the whole box unfolds and you can write a note. It's a very similar shape, but it's a different scent. 
And then we were talking about the Bolaras. I don't have those on hand for demo, but what I do have is like these little sample cards, but I always can order it for you. I'm very careful about shipping fragrance. I don't ship it, I order it and have it shipped. So here's the Forever Diamonds. I don't know if you can see that beautiful design. It's frosted on the sides. Oh, this one's very light. I would love this one. This is like your, your bride or girl who just got engaged. This is a great choice. If you want to give her a cute gift at her shower instead of lingerie, because that could be embarrassing depending on the uh, person. Not everyone is into that. Now, I mentioned earlier, probably this is one of our higher end ones. It's got three cent notes. This is Cityscape. Is that a funky bottle or what? Now this one. Okay, this one's got like three cent notes. So it's like, it goes down in layers. So the first thing you smell is a uh, kind of intense, but I like it. It's it's very sophisticated. It is not a fruit or a floral. It's that something that something else. I don't know what the word is, but there's a term that they use in the fragrance industry that's kind of this unique scent. Then um, I mentioned earlier. I mentioned many things earlier. I still have our oh so cute. It's a really cute little like a little bow, but that's limited edition. I only have so many of those. But this one is was was my signature fragrance for a while. Live fearlessly. You can see I've demoed it a lot. This is kind of woodsy. If you like something with like an outdoor scent that's not a a flower, this one's really nice. It's got a little spice to it. Got a little kick to it. Um, a very confident woman wears live fearlessly. And along those same lines, we have a couple more I want to show you. My most favorite, this, this is the first one that is a um, extractive perfume. There's like, you know, toilet water, eau de perfume and all that. This is, or de toilette. This is the most potent. It lasts the longest. And it is, again, it's in that spicier category. There's just something different about it. I want to make, it makes me think of my mom. No, my mom's still alive. I'm not saying anything weird here but it makes me think of a woman with class. She carries herself in such a way that she is confident that everyone knows that she's the go-to girl in the room. Now that other one was sort of like the, oh yeah, I bet you I can do it better. You know, she's the fearless and fierce. This is like the classy grand dame, not old, but just like she's earned that respect. That's Illuminia in my mind, descriptions for you because I don't know how else to express over the computer. Now this came out a little before those, but I love it because of the bottle, Enchanted Wish. Doesn't that look like an Easter egg or something? It just, it holds so nicely in the palm of the hand. And this one, oh, it's yummy. I want to eat this one. <laughs> like seriously, I want to eat this one. This one has more of your fruitiness going on. Now keep this in mind, I'm gonna put this here. Can't see it, but I want you to see something. They use the same bottle shape, but different color for if you believe. Now this one is definitely a more, let's see. There's something different, let me try. Yes, this is definitely more sophisticated scent than the other. It's deeper, it's um, almost like an evening scent, if you will. Now, as I said, aren't these adorable? If you have someone who likes to collect cute bottles, oh, I know, right? Um, so I have generally access to, because I don't keep a lot in stock. I'm always afraid that, you know, I'm going to, if I can hand deliver it to you, if you're local to me, I have a few on hand of most of these. But most of the time I ship it because the company has the permits to ship flammables and I don't. And I'd rather not take the risk of hurting myself. 